Hi, this is Scott Terzenga with the Western Herald, beat writer for the Western Michigan University volleyball team. Uh, the v Western Michigan University volleyball team will be playing against Akron and Buffalo this weekend. Uh, Western is 14-7 and 6-0 and and in the MAC. They've also won 10 games in a row heading into this weekend. Uh, Akron has actually lost five in a row, um, and they're one and five in the MAC. And then they will travel to Buffalo, and they will be at Buffalo, a place where Broncos are 14 and 0 all time, and 6 and 0 at Buffalo all time against the Bulls. Uh, the Broncos are also coming off a weekend where Katie Everling has set a school record in four sets with 37 digs, and where the Broncos have swept the MAC West. Uh, awards um, Jillian Mitchell uh, offensively and Katie Everling defensively. Uh, you've, had a, you've emerged as a big time force defensively. Uh, can you talk about what you've done and what you bring to the team defensively? Um, well, I brought a lot of blocking to the team by um, just penetrating over the net. We practice over blocking like every day um, just to work on penetrating over the net instead of just going straight up. Um, it helps the defense back row if we can close the block and they can just set up around us. And if I get the block, we don't have to worry about it. So I think it's just simple. Just get up there, block the ball, and it's just fun blocking the other hitters. <laughs> You're traveling from Akron to Buffalo. Um, it's two long travel days back to back. Uh, how do you think that will affect the team? I don't think it's going to affect us at all. I mean, it is a long bus ride, but I mean, it's just more time for us to stay together, have team bonding and stuff like that. So it's long, but we'll be fine. In order to keep your winning streak, uh, what vital aspect of the game do you think really needs to show up? Um, I think we just need to keep talking to each other, focus on like the details and what we need to work on and stuff like that. So, um, when your team was won ten in a row and uh, you're you're pretty dominant over a team, you're, you guys won fourteen. You're fourteen all against Buffalo. What do you? I mean, what do you guys have to say to one another? To just make sure everyone's focused and going to play strong. Um, our big thing is just one and all. Just like the main focus, um, just to get it done and over with, and um, go as one hundred percent and. And, um, no regrets. So, just so. Um, you had uh, you set a school high with uh, 37 digs in one game, four sets. Um, can you talk about what's what went, was going through your mind? What talk us through that a little bit? Um, I think it's you know you try and keep it basic, keep the ball off the floor. And when you think about that, you're not as much trying to over try or um, overdo things, and you find yourself in a good position a lot. I mean, as well as we worked a lot on blocking, so I think that having a good cell block in front of me made it easy for me to make some reads on headers and things like that. When you have a performance like that, though, is there some? Is, do you feel like you're in the zone? Is there any sort of feeling like that? that you're yeah, I mean, I think you have certain nights where you feel. Um, you're making better reads than other nights. They're seeing the court better, and um, I think that was one of those nights. But again, it contributed to a lot of other things. So. What kind of confidence does being 14 and 0 over a team bring to the girls uh, mentally? You know, as a mental aspect part of the game. I mean, both teams this weekend have. Um, are gonna are much much improved. So I think that we go with the same mentality that we've gone into any other weekend, any other match so far this year, and um, take care of business. What's a major focal point that you guys really focus on this weekend? This week in practice. I think just going back to the basics. Um, we worked a lot about communication with passing and um, back to blocking and just really breaking down the game to its simplest form. Because when you get over overwhelmed with um, thinking too much can get you in trouble. So going back to the basics and taking care of the basics. Uh, so two wins at home against the MAC went, uh, West rivals and a 6-0 start in the MAC. Uh, how, how important has this really quick start been for your, you guys as a team um, looking ahead to maybe a conference championship, setting you guys up, up for a conference championship? Yeah, I mean, just again, taking one match at a time and uh, I think that once you start getting on a streak, it helps you with confidence a lot. Um, just trying to get better every day. So. All right, our philosophy goes, we're, we're trying to better our side of the court. We're not even looking at or thinking about the, the past or looking at the future. We're looking at today's practice and how we better our team. You're traveling to, um, you know, you're going to be traveling to Akron, Buffalo. That's a lot of traveling and yeah. on Friday and Saturday night period. How do you think that's going to affect your team and what have you been telling your team to kind of like kind of prepare for the long drive? Well, actually, the, the trip itself um, really lends to our advantage because we'd only travel four hours to get to Akron, and then once we win there, we get back on the bus and travel another four hours to get to Buffalo. The drive home is going to be the issue. So prior to play, we're not concerned about it, but the girls have been on the road, you know, quite a bit. We went to Hawaii this year. We went, you know, we hosted a tournament, went two other weekends, so three weekends, you know, you know basically 
a long time to be on the road and not playing in front of our, our crowd. So we're not concerned about that. We go as status quo, hey, we keep doing what we do well and take care of business on our side of the net. You've been, your defense has been really strong lately. It's been, uh, I think you held Central to under 150 hitting percentage. What has been so key for you guys lately to, uh, you've been really so successful defensively? You know, we just keep bettering our side of the net. Um, our players are really working um, on positionally putting themselves in situations to be successful with our block. Our block is our first line of defense. Our defense is obviously the next. Um, they trust one another and they're taking, holding each other accountable to doing their jobs. What are some of the focuses this week in practice uh, looking ahead to? We just finished planning practice, so our practice is, is geared upon um, doing the things we do well, continuing to work on our blocking side of the game, our defensive side of the game, um, making sure that uh, we're crisp and clean in our offense and in our defense and, and just taking care of um, the ball on our side of the net. The players you look at um, the games this past weekend, you know, normally there's always, there's, there'll normally be one or two players that'll really stick out statistically, but you couldn't really, you could point to every single girl on the court. Um, could you just talk about a little bit of the team's performance as a whole? Sure, that's our strength. You know, we don't rely on one person to carry us throughout a night or for throughout a set for that matter. Um, everyone builds upon each other's strengths and, and you know, sort of hides our weaknesses, so to speak. So, um, while one young lady having a great night is going to be a tribute to the rest of the team doing their job and holding a block, defending in the court. Um, our set are putting up really nice balls as far as our offense goes. Um, Jillian Mitchell was our uh, player of the week offensively and Katie Eberling defensively. It's a tribute to what they do on their both sides of the game. All right, thanks.